One of my favorite things to put on a barbecue is chorizo sausage. Now I love the smells you get from it, the flavor, that kind of charred, kind of roasted flavor you get from a big green egg barbecue. But everything about a chorizo sausage being cooked on that is lush, but you want to mix it with other things. I'm going to put it onto a skewer with some fantastic ingredients. So the first thing I want to do is prep my squid and marinate it in some herbs and some oil and a little bit of lemon just to give it just a little bit of extra flavor. Now I love squid. It's, I mean, you could cook it directly just like that. It's perfect, it's fantastic. But we're gonna open it up and then inside, just gonna score it. And this will work so you can roll it quite easily to stick it onto the skewers. And then cut it in half lengthways so you've got pieces around about that size. Also, make sure that you use these as well. Squid tentacles, flavor-wise they are incredible. Just gonna cut in half so they've still got structure to them, but they taste absolutely fantastic and they grill up beautifully. So stick them in with the squid pieces. Then move on to the next bit. We wanna marinate it, okay? So it kind of breaks it down just a little bit, but gives it loads of extra flavor. So I've got here two cloves of peeled garlic. I'm just gonna grate them goes into the squid. Also, whilst the grate is out, the zest of one lemon. The next thing in, nice olive oil. Gonna put in about two tablespoons and then some herbs. Got here, flat parsley, and chop it up. We're gonna need about two tablespoons worth. And then the next herb to go in, some rosemary. Now, I love rosemary, right? But it's quite a hard herb. Take the leaves, kind of like pull against it, pull down against the stalk. And then with your knife, you've actually got to chop this one quite finely because otherwise it's quite woody and it'll get stuck in your teeth and you don't want that, all right? So you've got to chop it nice and fine. And then throw that into the squid as well. Get your spoon, give it a good mix. I mean, it already looks gorgeous, doesn't it? You've got the lemon, the garlic, the herbs, the oil, evenly dispersed all over that lovely squid. Then we're gonna leave that to the side for around about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna cut these guys up into three, okay? Because then you can thread them onto the skewers to go with the squid. And whilst that squid's marinating, I'm gonna just make up a little bit, kind of a yogurty, mayonnaise -y dressing to go with it. One clove of garlic, grated. Into that, I'm gonna put about 100 mils mayonnaise, half that amount of Greek yogurt, and then the juice, one lemon. So give it a good mix together. So you've now got this lovely yogurty, lemony mayonnaise dip. And then we can make our kebabs. You start off with a bit of squid, so we've scored it. You can just roll it up, thread the skewer through it, and a bit of chorizo and the pepper. And then just repeat that process. So once all your ingredients are threaded on your skewers and they all look something a bit like that, they are ready to go. So here, I've got a Green Egg Mini Max and this has come up to around about 250 degrees centigrade. So it's good searing temperature again. Open the lid, stick them on. Lid goes on and I cook for around about four to five minutes each side, not too long. After literally, I don't know, seven or eight minutes, these guys are done cooked. Squid is lovely, trezo's cooked, the peppers blistered and gorgeous. And we can get the last few on. And after a few minutes, second lot are done. And we have here a gorgeous plateful of squid and trezo kebabs. A lovely lemon and yogurt mayonnaise dressing, some simple flatbreads, all ready to go. How quick and easy was that? On the beautiful green egg.